Good evening. It's that time again, and I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Oh, much better. This is Lisa Kent from Lisa Kent's Fit to Fly, and I'm just going to do a little short one tonight, a little bit about summer travel. You know, Memorial Day is coming up. I, it just snuck up on me this year. It came so quick. But that is the beginning of summer and the beginning of the summer travel season. Now, who's ready? Ready? I'm not ready. I've got a trip coming. And I'm not ready for summer travel. I would just love to cut 10 pounds off of the weight that I'm bringing to travel. Now, I was thinking that maybe I'd start with my own first. That would be a help. But the other thing that I have, and it's just a little quickie tonight, it is a packing tip. I've got three kids. They're older. They're, they're kind of like adult kids. They've just passed their teens. They like to pack with what they call choice. Mom, I gotta have choices. Well, you know, most of them don't carry their own luggage. Choices are great, but choices when you travel are heavy. If you go on a three-day trip, you need three things to wear, and that's it, plus what you got on your body. So the key is to have them make those choices first. And I have a really exciting little device. It is inexpensive. It is readily available. And it's something that has multi-uses. It is a gallon Ziploc bag. If you get the fancy one, they even have a label where you can write on it. If you pack into these, they are amazingly wonderful. You've got one outfit per day in this bag. You can put the shoes in if you want, if your shoes are small enough. Otherwise, you have a top, you have your underwear, you have your socks, you have your pants. You fold them, you put them in the bag, you zip it closed, and you put the date you want to wear them. Then you slip them all in. They are there, they're packed up, you've gone through your choices, you put them in, they're very easy to do. Then, when it comes time to take them out, you know what day and what you're wearing, and you don't have to take that time while you're traveling to do it. The best thing is, after you're finished, you use the Ziploc bag to put the dirty clothes in. And if you've got a swimming suit you're taking with you as one of your outfits, you have something that protects the rest of the suitcase from any kind of damp clothes, any kind of dirty clothes. So you stuff them right back in there. You come with what you brought. You leave with what you brought. There's no hiding anything underneath because you have each of these little Ziploc bags. You take them out, you put your clothes right back in, you pop it in the suitcase, and you can concentrate about other things. When the pool's open, you can figure out where you're going that day. You don't have to spend time with the choices and you don't have to carry all the choices with you. So for tonight, that's it. It's just that one little tip. But packing into one of these Ziploc baggies is just wonderful. My daughter just finished her cheer. This was her last year. She's been cheering since she was four. She's done competition cheer. She's done school cheer. Lately, she's done the competition school cheer at the school. They went to nationals. They do it every year. They give us a list. They have certain practice clothes to wear every day. So you get your white Nike shorts, your purple shirt, your purple bow, your socks, and you put them all in the Ziploc bag. The best thing is they put their uniform in the Ziploc bag, put it in their carry-on. That way, if the bags got lost, they were still performing. These little beauties can do everything, and I highly suggest them. So that's it for tonight. One little packing tip. Using this tip, taking just what you need, maybe one extra, but it forces you to make a whole kind of thing extra. This is my extra outfit which is a good thing. You don't need 16 pairs of socks for three days. So that's the tip tonight. And the other way of uh, traveling a little bit lighter is to try to get off some of those winter pounds. I know I've got them. They're the ones that you get when you hibernate during the winter, just like the bear, and it's time to get them off. 
anybody on a health journey like that, anybody want to get ready to go on that July trip, I've got a special group coming up. It is a VIP group, and it's a very first VIP group, so it's very special. There are coaching sessions. It's individually run. You have an individually designed system. Oh, it's wonderful. If you have any questions, just message me or comment below, and I'll get in touch with you. We're only looking for five to start with, so we're going to start with just a few because each of them has individual attention. We're going to get these things off. We're going to get these 10 pounds off. I, it, We can do it. I absolutely, absolutely believe. So for that, I want to say good night and thank you very much. It is Lisa Kent from Lisa Kent's Fit to Fly Coaching. We're going to get fit to travel this summer. Yes, we are. Take care, my dears. Good night.